Okay, guys, welcome once again to our next class today. Okay, so today we'll be looking at. Uh, let's check quickly. Okay, so today we'll be looking at importing DXF. You know, we're going to be importing DXF panel slab into broader structure. Okay, so don't forget in our last class we were able to do the general flow arrangement and we were able to establish our column points, establish the grid lines, and also the, the beam boundaries, okay? So now we are gonna export this into uh, into AutoCAD, sorry, into product structure, and uh, and see what happens from there, okay? So let's, let's do that quickly. All right, so first of all is, you open your product structure 2018, so I have it here, so I'll just double click on this and give it a little time to load. That's taking a little while. Don't forget while we're waiting for the software to load. Sorry, my system, there are so many things in it, so it's kind of uh, crazy for it. All right, so while we're waiting, just like I said initially, um, this uh, very tutorial is for beginners, so it's just for beginners, and but for those who, who want to extend their yeah, training, those who want to go to the profession, who want to become very professional with the softwares, you can always contact me, you know, via the application, the uh, the uh, CAD Made Easy application, you can always contact me from there, okay? All right, so this is it. This has been open. So we click on new because we want to create new projects and I'm going to call this uh, Cat me Cat me so that's the name Okay All right, so the first thing to do is before you continue is there are a lot of codes Depending on your code of practice, you know for we here in Nigeria. We we, we, we use PS 8110 and uh, the hero code hero code 2 so I'm going to be activating now. I will be using BS8110 for this for this tutorial. Then when you click on that, you click on import. Okay, so it's going to import all the parameters, you know, that has to do with the BS code. It's going to import that into our drawings. Okay, just give it a few more minutes. Okay, we are here. All right, so this basically is how your product structure software user interface should look like. This is how it should look like, you know, it should look exactly like this, okay? It should look exactly like this. So the first thing we're going to do, don't forget, we are importing the, the the drawings we did with AutoCAD. We are importing into this application so we can do our structural design. All right, so first thing is you go to File, and you go to Import, okay? Import External Reference Drawing, very important. Don't forget to click on this. All right, so when you click on that, it's going to it's going to ask you to where do you want to get this drawing from, okay? So I'll click on load. First thing is you click on load. We want to load the drawing into the software. And um, I have mine in desktop. I saved it in desktop on the card. I created a folder for it, card me. So I have it inside here, okay? Tutorial one, okay? Click on that and open. All right, so that's not the only thing you're going to do, okay? After loading the drawing into this, select your scale, okay? Display text entity as well, but you know, in our grid lines, we didn't put any text, so it's not really important. But don't forget, your unit of drawing should always be, you know, uh, activated. If you're using millimeter for your drawing, don't forget to do that same here, okay? Then, okay. So, if you check on the background, you see the drawing is here. But it's just showing us just the grid line, so you don't really understand what's happening here. So you need to import members. So you click on import members, import axis. Don't forget there is the axis layer we call it grid line. So automatically this guy understands. So if we had given the the grid line some text, there will be need to activate this, but no need for that. Then the next thing is import column because don't forget I have columns on that. So import columns and this was my column layer, okay? I don't have any column layer, so I would prefer the software to, you know, give me its own. So, okay. 
now uh, you need to check if there is any overlapping if there is any issues with your drawing so let's do a quick check you click on start and you should be having zero errors okay when you have this you're good to go then you close that then having done that you now close this now if you look carefully you're going to see our drawing you will see the columns now <clears throat> If you check critically, you're going to see some of the drawings are 230, the columns 230, 230. I think I have another one, 220, 230. Okay, these are all those common issues you're going to be having, okay? Especially when you, in my AutoCAD application, I didn't set precision to, I just set precision to just zero, no decimal place, just a single decimal, not even a decimal place at all. It was just zero, not 0, 0.0, so... The software cannot understand, so it approximates it for me, okay? So, but what you can do quickly is, <clears throat> I'm going to highlight all the columns, and edit it all together at once. You can do one thing, you can right-click here, first left-click, right-click, and say go to property. When you go to property, you can actually change the dimension to 225, 225, then you update. When you update is going to apply so this is one way then another way is i'm going to select everything together okay then i right click on this and i click on property so it's taking me directly into the column property where all the columns have been listed so i want to first of all change all of this to two to five so you click here then you come to this you click on column wise edits click on it and type two to five when you do that click on enter it's going to affect the entire dimension okay so this is for one direction b1 and you go to b2 you do the same thing two to five okay so you can see everything is perfect okay everything is perfect so our columns eccentricity is 0.0, .0. both for b1 and b2 that is x and y axis then you close so when you check it out you see everything is looking beautiful okay so this is how you import your drawing into uh into the software so one thing you can also do if you check critically you're gonna see my axis i don't like this labeling labeling doesn't make sense to me so i'm going to quickly change it just quickly i'm going to change this very quickly so i'm going to start with uh i'm going to use uh one two three four five you know for the x-axis and I'm going to be using alphabet for the y-axis okay that's how I'm going to be doing now okay so uh, we start here now if I start with a here don't forget we have a already so it's not going to be effective so I'm going to first of all take this off okay so if I should count this is one this is two so definitely this should be number three so you cl click on it right click and click on property then you come here and change the level to three when you click update that's perfect okay then I can now you know come here same thing happens here same thing happens here if I put one here I'm gonna have issues here okay because it will not be effective because I will be having one here and one again the software cannot understand that. so what I'm gonna do is this will be a B C D E so this is gonna be E so right click property put E and update that should be capital letter update okay then having done that you're going to do the same for every other aspect of the drawing so let's quickly change this right click property one update you move further to the next one property to update it's important to always change this okay and if your if your architectural drawing has grid lines with labels you always try to maintain same label so it doesn't give problem now if you check now and I'm trying to create oh I made a mistake sorry this is supposed to be C update so this guy it's supposed to be B date 
close same thing here property a update then finally click on this property and this is D update okay so I haven't done that you come back to this other side click on this right click update one update close click on the second one property two update close don't forget we've already defined three so we go straight to four property four update close we move next to five five update all right so this was so easy this was very easy okay very very easy so in our next class now we're going to learn how to impute the beams the slabs if you have walls okay you're going to also learn how to impute walls and the rest of the things so we can now proceed with our design okay so we'll stop here for now and see you in the next uh, class